please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Dallas versus Stewart. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Dallas, you have dragged the defendant, Mr. Stewart, into court today to prove that he is the father of your newborn son, one-month-old Lamar. You say you are shocked that he's denying he's baby Lamar's biological dad, especially since you discovered he's the one leading a double life. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Stewart, you claim that it's Ms. Dallas who's been far from faithful and you believe that baby Lamar's dad could be any one of multiple men. So, Ms. Dallas, take us to your relationship before you found out about Mr. Stewart's alleged double life. Um, I met Cedric with Mr. Stewart in June of 2016. Mm -hmm. I was out having breakfast with my friend probably about 6 o'clock in the morning and... He walked up to me or whatever, offered to pay for uh, my breakfast or whatever. After that, we had changed numbers, and from there, we hooked up a couple of times or whatever. So, uh, first, you just dating casually. Yeah. Okay. And um, we always had to get a room, you know, and I used to ask him, like, you know, I'm tired of going to the room, you know, you know can we go to your house? You said you, you have a house, you own it. And he was like, you know, I have unwanted company there. So I'm like, I want a company. I'm like, um, you got a girlfriend? He like, no. I'm like, you have a baby mom there? He like, no. I'm like, um, you got a wife? And he was like, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, and that's when he proceeded to tell me like, oh, they are separated. They're going through a divorce. So, Mr. Stewart? Yes. Yeah. Did you meet Miss Dallas, date her casually, have sex with her? And finally, lonely later, tell her that you were married. It didn't I quite asked. go like that. You How know, did just, it go? You know, it, it didn't come up. You know, I felt like it didn't come up. Like, you know. How it, did it not come it up? Didn't. It didn't. That's come... relevant information, is yeah. it not? Yeah, true that. Yes, yes, Your Honor. So wait, you were basically out acting like a single man? No, I wasn't act. Yeah, yes, <laughs> yes, Your Honor. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I'm glad you just went on yes, ahead and told honest. the truth. I had to think about it. Okay, so you were out there <laughs> acting like a single man, but you were married. Yes, Your Honor. Were you getting a divorce then? I wasn't in... You know, I didn't have it filed, but in my head, yeah, I was getting a divorce. In your head. That means you were still married. Yes. Moving legal. on. So, <laughs> how often did you see one another? If you're married with your wife living oh, at home... Oh, that's it. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day? He, every day? Yeah, every day. every day he would come over there when he yeah. get off work. Only time he probably went to his house and when he went to go change his clothes or put on his work clothes. Mr. Stewart, during this time, were you still intimate with your wife? No. Not at the time. Like, we you were... Lie. You know, like... I don't know how to put it, but it's like... We were living together, but we were having problems of our own, you know? So, Ms. Dallas, once you found out he was married, did you have second thoughts about dating a married man? Yes, I did have second thoughts, but once everything started hitting the floor, like, I, I was already pregnant. You know what I'm saying? I love Cedric, you know? And he was telling me, like, I'm gonna do the divorce, we gonna have a house, you know, all this, we gonna raise our son together, you know? I was believing him because that's all I had to do was believe him. You know? So he had you high off the promises and drunk yeah, off the dreams. It right. was all... Right. It was flowing. Right. All right, now, listen. This is, this is what happens. <laughs> okay. When you're a married man out there trying to probably keep this young girl... And, and date and, his wife, too. And, and have your wife, too. No, no. But, but at some point, you found out you were pregnant, and that will sober you up. Yeah, I thought, I thought everything was gonna be okay after that. And then when I found out I was pregnant, Cedric was happy or whatever. Oh, you were? Yeah. So, so you were genuine... Even though you were still married to your wife, you were happy your mistress was pregnant? Yes. Do you have any other children? Yes. You do? How many? Three. With your wife? No. We have no kids in common. But you have three children from a previous relationship? Yes. How long have you been married? Ten years. So you found out about this baby and you were happy? Yes. But you didn't have doubt at that time if you were happy. No, no. He started beginning doubt. So-called my associate was telling him and his wife that I was sleeping around with multiple men when I conceived um, Lamar. Someone that knew you? Yeah. They start giving you information? Yeah. yeah. But it was the same friend that sent him naked pictures of herself to, to him, telling him that, was that I was, you know, sleeping around with somebody else. So why wouldn't she say that she want to sleep with you? You know? Did the friend send you naked pictures, Mr. Stewart? Yes, Your Honor. 
But so don't you believe that would discredit? Yeah, I, that's why I didn't. Yeah, that was. But that was like that's one of my doubts. You know what I mean? Uh, that's another, just one. Yes. What's your other doubt? Well, the other doubt was like when he got here, he don't look like me. He got look at his hair. He look mixed. He don't look mixed. Look mixed. All babies come out with <laughs> fine mixed, hair, baby. and I'm pretty sure. So got at what knows point it. do you have to come clean with your wife about this baby? Mm-hmm. I told her. her. Picture of the. Because strip. when me and Cedric were supposed to be she... together, Roberta sent me a picture of her, him and Cedric in the bed. Now Cedric has my name tattooed on him. She sent me a what? picture. She sent me a picture of him and her in the bed naked together. His wife sends a picture to you of them in the bed. Yes, and he was asleep and she was taking a picture. She sent it to me. And that was After the time... you're pregnant. No, she didn't know I was pregnant. We was in a hospital at the time all this was going on. And... I found out I was pregnant, and I sent her a picture of the pregnancy test, like... Oh, you, you know? sent his wife a yeah, picture of yeah, the pregnancy yeah. test? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jerome, yeah. I want to hear from his wife. Okay. Yeah. Please escort Ms. Stewart into the courtroom. Got it. Good morning, Ms. Stewart. Thank you for joining us today. This testimony is troubling. Yes, very troubling. And it was not true. What part of the testimony do you disagree How they met? Cedric met her online. Okay. And so you believe he was actually looking for... Exactly. ...a that... relationship outside the marriage? I don't say... I wouldn't say a relationship, but relations. Relations. Exactly. Do you believe Miss Dallas knew he was married from the beginning? I wouldn't say she knew from the beginning, but she knew very, very early. And how do you know that is for certain? She called me. And said... She, she was just saying, like, are you and Cedric still together? And... Oh, I never called you and said that, Roberta. She, she you said, are you and Cedric me. still together? It's no need to even lie. I have receipts that I brought. Okay, let me see. That, that let me she see was evidence. met online and not just by Cedric. So, Miss Stewart, you're claiming that what you've presented to the court are messages which indicate she was not just entertaining your husband, but multiple, but multiple men. men. Yes. That's not true. Well, I definitely see plenty of interaction between Miss Dallas and various men. Those inboxes are what they send me. You don't see nothing of me sending nothing back to them. I can't help when nobody send me on Facebook or whatever they asking me. So, Ms. Stewart, you believe that Ms. Dallas was having sex with multiple men... Exactly. ...in addition to your husband. Exactly. And that's why you doubt that this child is your husband's biological child. Exactly. Ms. Dallas, were you intimate with anyone else around the time baby Lamar was conceived? No. Anybody else? No, not at all. Does Mr. Stewart have a relationship with baby Lamar? Yes. D- he participated in doctor's appointments. He, he was there? Yes. And at the birth, he was there? Yes. Did he sign the birth certificate? Yes. So, Mr. Stewart, why would you sign the birth certificate if people have been telling you that she was also sleeping with other people and you had doubt? I guess I had been there so long. You know what I mean? She got other kids, you know what I mean? I got a relationship with them, you know, so I wouldn't just be gone. Wait a minute, now, you standing next to your wife and you telling me how you gonna be there for your mistress? I'm getting confused. (laughs) Who are you actually with right now? Who are you with? (laughs) Who are you actually with right now? Who are you with? Cedric. Lakeitha. So you and Miss Dallas are together? Yeah, we live together. You live live together. together. We, We kinda, you know... Well, what's that? You know what I mean? We like, lived we, together, but we moved back in forth. together, but we, we go back and forth. Like, she done moved out and came Two back. Days. You know what I mean? And... Are you all divorced or still no. married? Legally, we're still married. We're still married. Ms. Stewart, what do you want? Do you want this marriage to work? Are you... I... I... Roberta knows what Roberta has to do for herself at this point. Cedric has three children of his own that he has neglected to take care of her children. No, that's not Whatever. true, because me and him take the baby over there and my other kids Lakeitha, to go see his daughter and his Lakeitha son. Lakeitha has always stay four children. Roberta. No, you're not going to do him Lakeitha like that. Lakeitha trying to has... trying he don't do for his kids Lakeitha because Lakeitha has four... I've been no. with this man for 14 years. Okay, I know. and I've been his with him son... for the last past year. You haven't and been I... with... It doesn't matter. You haven't even been knowing Cedric a year yet. You haven't even been knowing Cedric a year yet. It doesn't matter. I'm telling you what he's doing. Ladies, 
when it matters. Ladies, oh, ladies, man. ladies, ladies, ladies. And then Lakeitha also told him that she has all her children two months early. No, I so did not. That's why the timing did not add up. No. Did Lakeitha not tell you, you that? You manipulated me on that timing did, stuff. But did like Lakeitha right. not tell you that? Did Lakeitha not tell you she have her kids two months no, early? You told me no, she said I did not. Right. You, told me she you said. tried oh, to add up the dates that I have. So what's this issue early. about the timeline, though? Because I'm I'm big. You know, they was going off the measurement of my belly. I just started showing I was like eight months really getting around belly and stuff or whatever. But the measurements was threw off. But the ultrasound was right on point. So wait a minute. You all have so much information. You all have had so much conversation. I only spoke it's to It's like her you, the time. women have all the facts and I can't get a straight answer out of Mr. Stewart. For real? I, I, I figure I'm being straight here. No, you're not. You not really are. Because you said you wasn't gonna get on here and try to make me look like a fool because you didn't want to be Man, with me. You're trying to make yourself look like a fool. You don't hear about paternity. You're trying to tell her life story, your it's, life story. We're telling that the truth. We're, we're here baby. to tell the truth. You feel me? That's what we're here for. We're here to see why would you question mm. paternity if you had no doubts? You questioned paternity I would question on the reason you on met her. I had. You had questioned paternity Mama's when, baby, she first, daddy's maybe, boo. when she first told you she was pregnant, you asked for Mama's a DNA test. And Lakeitha also told me, I'm going to give him a paternity test. Right, we agreed on that. Before I even got when we, when we found out I was pregnant, me and him agreed to do a yeah, fraternity test. We sure did. Both of the women, you all have been in touch. Mm -hmm. You all have had conversations. You all basically know exactly what's happening here, and you know he's playing you all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you're still standing here getting played. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to understand. Why? And you argue with one another, but nobody's holding him accountable. Oh, I hold him accountable for everything. No, she don't. I did she not, holds me. Let me tell you no, this, she Your don't. Honor. I did not marry Lakeitha. I married this person right, right so here. Right, so why try to my harass issue, me? My and... issue is with Cedric, no, not Lakeitha. The only Cedric. issue I have with Lakeitha is, okay, if we have women out here like you, what marriage is gonna last? If you know you're sleeping with a married man, no marriage is gonna last because they know they can go to her, her, or her. Hold on now, Miss Stewart. It's just your husband's doing. He just, he told me before you came in the courtroom, I said, were you out acting like a single man? He said, yes. That's it. Because when a married man acts like a married man, it ain't nothing Miss Dallas can do. I don't, think he, your I don't even think he knows how, what a married man should act like. And that... Is the point. Because you're saying he doesn't, you don't even think he knows what he's supposed to be doing. He's made his own lane and it's right smack dab in the middle of both of you all's neighborhoods. And he's just going back and forth. So, Mr. Stewart, if baby Lamar is your biological child, are you planning to have a life and a relationship with Miss Dallas? Yes. And if he is not your biological child. What then? I ain't really, I'll probably go on my own. I don't need nobody. Miss Stewart, what is Mr. Stewart, your husband, what is he saying to you right now? Miss Dallas is saying, he's saying to Cedric, her, we're gonna have a house, we're gonna do this, we're gonna Cedric do that. Cedric is telling me he's just trying to see if this is his son, because if this is his son, he's going to court to ask for full custody of his son. Right. Is so he I don't... saying that he wants to be with you? Yeah, he, uh, he even said that. He was like, this could make us better as a whole. And I'm like, what? I said, I don't want to raise nobody else's yeah, child. Sound like him. I have text, I have receipts <laughs> where he says that I thought you was going to help me raise him. I said, Cedric, I, I don't have that a too. problem with helping you raise your son. I but I'm, I'm not going to food. be in the middle of you want to be with her today her tomorrow and right. the next day. I'm not gonna be in the middle of that. All right, well, the only way we gonna move forward in this situation is to get the results. Jerome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Dallas versus Stewart, when it comes to one month old Lamar Stewart, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Stewart, you are the father. Hey, I told you, baby. I told you. I ain't got no reason to lie at all. So listen, 
Ms. Dallas, I see you are in tears because I, this... I go through so much with him and his wife. You don't understand. I go yes. through so much. And you will continue to go through I'm, But things. I'm not trying to go through that. I'm not but trying listen, to go through listen, that no more Listen, this is all. what happens. And I'm not I saying you I had to prove... Listen, listen, Ms. Dallas. What I'm here to ask you all, as we look at this beautiful baby, he's here now. He's your son. He looked like him. <laughs> and, and, and look, it is not my place to tell you what to do with your life. But what I am saying, Mr. Stewart, if you don't make a call, your son is gonna grow up amidst this level of toxic behavior. And I'm talking to you because I can see that these two women will go on until kingdom come arguing back and forth about what Cedric gonna do, what Cedric gonna do. I'm so sick of hearing your name. <laughs> I really am. Right. Because the thing is, they arguing about you, but you aren't doing anything. Miss Dallas still loves you, and you can go run up over there and have more and more babies. But if you're still gonna be married to your wife, why would you put children through that? So you gotta get yourself together, all right? Yes. This isn't healthy. Let's get some help now. Let's figure this out for you all and most importantly for the children. I wish you all the very best of luck. Court is adjourned.